Ba boom It's time for the bugs. The bugs are back in town. <laughs> the bugs are back in town. <laughs> the bugs are back in town. <laughs> I don't know why I'm singing that. You know what? I forgot to get water. I'm going to be right back, everyone. I hath return with the water. The water pours like a cascading waterfall. Okay. So we're gonna try our best to, uh, finish the game up tonight. Well, we are going to finish the game tonight, but we're going to try to finish it before Walter time, which uh, tonight, usually for Sundays it's way later, but you know, all these seasons, work schedules change. I have about three hours. So we're going to try our best here. And we are in the final chapter. Um. I can't remember why I came to town. Maybe I wanted to see if there was any medals or items I wanted to grab before we went off to the final place. But uh, hey Duskus. So um, it's been a little while since we played because we, we've, we've taken a lot of breaks with this game. You're Todd, we're taking your request. Did you find my ball? Oh. You missed the last time. I, it's, it's really unfortunate you weren't here last time because there was one little dumb thing that I forgot that made me get stuck in the, in the last castle for like 30 minutes or something. And if you were there or if, if anyone was there really, we probably would have, uh... Wait, what the hell? This wasn't here before. The Termite Kingdom is proud to bring the Termicade to Ant City. What? Come play fun games to earn tokens you can use to trade for unique prizes only here at the Termicade. It's a casino? Wow. Well, this is new. Uh, no, I don't think we did the Leafs request. We, we've just been focusing on the main story. Um, but what is going on here? I'm actually interested. Might Night Flower Journey. Wait, what? Press A or B to exit. Well, A or B to exit, how do we play it? Do I need to talk to the lady? Uh, I have tokens already. Wait a minute, so this... Oh, this, this cabinet is purely for the high scores. Okay, that's unusual. I get it now. A uh, flower journey. Control little B looking for pollen. You've got to avoid wasp and logs by pressing A. All right, let's give it a shot. That cost 10 tokens. How much does this one cost? 25, wow. 15 was kind of a weird number for them to give us, but let's give it a shot. Oh, it is like Flappy Bird. It feels a lot more, uh... Wait, do, am I supposed to grab those? I forget. It is, well, flowers would be pollen, huh? So I guess we do want to grab those. They were so big, they kind of felt like obstacles. <laughs> this feels a lot more lenient than Flappy Bird. 
You know what the best Flappy Bird uh, clone is I ever played? I think it's it's way better than Flappy Bird. It's called uh, Flapthulu. And you play as Cthulhu. And you fly, and just the visuals and the graphics look so cool. And you actually have like a goal. And you can unlock a couple things. There's like a couple different game modes. You can unlock a uh, another character who plays very differently. Oh. So we don't want to touch you. But, uh, interesting. Oh, you win tokens! Interesting. Uh, hey, Fak. I could tell today was gonna be a Bug Fables day when I had to deal with bugs trying to get into the sugar jar. Oh, no. Let's try that again. Let's try to last longer so we can earn more tokens. Yeah, if you guys can find Flap Thulu for your, for mobile, I would recommend it. It's a really fun little time waster. Simple games like this are always just satisfying to play. Dang, I, I need to go under it. I keep trying to go over it. I don't know if we got as many points that time. Nope. All right, let's try that again. If we lose them, we'll just probably leave because we do have to do that final chapter. I, I mean, okay, so I uploaded um, a video right before the stream started. I don't know if anyone's caught that yet. Where I finally announced what I've been working on for my uh, Christmas slash holiday special. And as you will see from that up that video, I am very, very busy. Because I'm insane and I've decided to give myself an enormous workload this year as a as a Christmas present to myself. That's not even counting like me having the Christmas shop for other people and, and uh, you know, work for money to buy said gifts and so on and so forth. Um, I honestly don't know, like, I, I've, ooh, what is that, honey? Oh, I'm invincible? Can I knock out a bee if I run into it now or a wasp or whatever that is? Yeah, cool. Oh my god. We got a bunch of points. What was I gonna say? Um... I've nearly completed everything that I need to do aside from actually editing the things. Uh... Oh, Dusk is- oh, hey, Rewinding. Sorry, I was like so focused on that. Yeah, I remember when, uh... People were selling Flappy Bird on their phones for tons of money, which is so silly, but, um... Didn't people do that for PT as well? Like, PS4s that had PT in it? I would love to play that PT demo one day, but I don't know how feasible that's gonna be. Like, I purposely avoided looking at any of the gameplay, because I just- it seemed- it sounded interesting to me. Oh, now we have enough to play, uh, the other game. Um... Please, as if we don't all have notifications for the J Reviews channel. Rewinding says tamales and 12 J, uh, J Reviews, great Christmas. We'll, we'll see once the reviews come out because I may have bitten off more than I could chew. Um, a lot of them are thankfully going to be shorter reviews, but still, it's been so much work. I, I'm honestly a little stressed out about it, but I'm keeping at a good pace. I'm not like behind really, I'm just... It's just a lot of work I had ahead of me, and I've already done a lot. Like, I'm pretty much done with... I finally finished all the scripts, pretty much. I might tune a couple of the scripts here and there still. I recorded 9 out of the 12 game narrations, so I still need to do that. I recorded all the live-action stuff, although I might add a little stuff later. 
And so mostly I'm just gonna have to be editing for the next, uh, God, I don't know, foreseeable future. I'm gonna try my best to get them all finished before Christmas, you know, so I'm not just editing up until Christmas. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it and hopefully the reviews come out okay, even though I did 12 in a row and it's there's going to be perhaps a little bit of a, I don't know how to say it, a gorilla style feel to it. But anyway, Tamale, a tamale cause it sounds like it'd be pretty good right now. But anyways, let's play this game. I should have read the instructions first. Oh! I like how I have a shield. Shields are honestly one of my favorite weapons. In, like the concept of using a shield as a weapon. Okay, so if you turn, you just turn. If you hold A, you block, and then you can strafe. I meant guerrilla style as in like guerrilla style like filmmaking, but I don't know if that translated very well. Was that an item? I found the key. I don't know. Okay, so I don't know if I can actually fight these guys. Maybe we're just supposed to avoid them. Oh, those are health. That's why I didn't pick it up. All right, so I have a key. Can I fight these guys though? That's the question. I don't know. Oh, I just run into them. That's how you fight them. Sorry, I didn't read the instructions. That was my bad. I think I was just trying to find a, a good word to say that some of the reviews may feel a little rushed, as if they don't already sometimes. Uh, considering I had to do 12 of them, and I only started working on them like, what, a week ago? I, I can't believe that it's actually like happening, honestly. Because this is one of those things where if it was one review and then I set a date that I needed the review done, you know, it's feasible that I could like work two nights in a row pulling all nighters and just kind of put slap the thing together and make it work. But when I have 12 reviews that I have to do, you can't, that's not something you can do last minute. It's just not going to happen. And somehow I was able to get enough of the work done ahead of time that I guess it's going to happen. If you stand still, it points you to the key. Oh, that's interesting. I was ho hoping the uh, thing would pop up. This way, I guess. This is interesting. I mean, it's a whole different kind of game within the game that we were already playing before. Um, oh, it's to the left. Oh, there it is. I believe the exit was all the way around the other way, but maybe there's a shortcut if we go this way. I'm gonna check. Jay's in a mini game. Or, yep, yep, that's where I am. Nope, this is just the final level. It plays like this. That's the big twist. This is a very long hallway. but that's it. Honestly, I'm kind of just... I'm not really trying to beat this or anything. I just... We do need to focus on the main game because I, like I said, I have a lot of work ahead of me. So I'm going to try my best to... I'm going to try my best to... Uh, 
beat this to, um, before Walter time, which is in about three hours. The X will be in the corner diagonal from where you started. Jay, you kid, but I have played games that inexplicably change genre for the final boss. Oh, well, I mean, Pato Box comes to mind immediately, where the final boss is not, is, f you fight them completely differently than any of the other bosses in the game. And the whole, the bosses are the en only enemies, really, too. Well, you do some stuff outside of that, but in terms of, like, actual fighting. All right, let's see if there's any medals here that I might want to grab before we go off on our final chapter. Equipped ally with transfer all st no. Uh, sleepy needles. Well, what do we have right now? Let me check again. Oh, defeats weak enemy one. Oh, I should have been wearing this. Cause I mean, one of my issues I've, I have sometimes is like you, you'll fight weak enemies. Well, they're considered weak to the game because they give you like no XP, but then they still actually manage to chunk you. Honestly, I have medals that are pretty good. I just don't have metal points to use them. So maybe I won't buy any more medals. Because like this antlion jaws is, is, is pretty useful. I just don't have enough uh, metal points. Um, poison needles could be good too. Yeah. Crazy. Wait a minute. Is this why I wasn't striking first? I swear to God, the whole last chapter, it wasn't letting me strike first. But could it be that this badge prevents the enemies or you from striking first? Or maybe it was glitching and doing that when it shouldn't have been. Because like the whole last chapter... Alright, so instead I guess we'll just focus on making some uh, items here. Oh, and then maybe I'll stop by the Mystic real, qu real quick. Remember to bring a ton of Crispy Donuts. I actually don't remember how to make those if I'm being honest. Was that the guy in the desert that had that? I don't know if you could cook dry bread. That seems like it's already been cooked as much as it can. Um. No, I remember how striking first works. You have to just stun the enemy and then walk into them. So for instance, you would use a leaf shield, bump into them, they'd get stunned, then you touch them, and then you're doing a first strike. Except, the whole last chapter I was bumping people with leaf shield, stunning them, then walking into them, and I was not getting a first strike. And I thought maybe just because the enemies were stronger or something? But... not. I don't know. Blaze honey and flower. There's some math behind the scenes or something, because Jay would definitely whack enemies- Yeah, yeah, see, Fak remembers that, I guess. Oh, genre going from an FPS to table tennis. Oh, that is pretty changey. Um, Leaf Shield did do first strikes near the start of the game, but maybe later, maybe it doesn't do that anymore. But I, I it, it was doing it because I was using Leaf Shield to do first strikes through most of the game. But maybe late game it doesn't work anymore. I don't know. But I, I can assure you it definitely did before. But anyways, uh. So we want glazed honey and flour. All right, so we'll, we'll just buy and make a bunch of glazed honeys. And then flour, I'm assuming we can get in the desert place. You can stun them with shield, then attack. But, uh... But I'm, I'm telling you, Duskus, you could, like, look at the older streams. I was just walking into them with the shield and they were 
getting stunned for a first strike. I swear that they were. But I don't know. I, I Unless I'm like very mistaken. Because I didn't notice them not getting stunned until uh, this last chapter. So I, I think it's maybe just the later enemies that doesn't work on them anymore. Would be nice if we could uh, cook more items at once, if it's the same item maybe. Might as well cook the squash too while he's at it. So we're gonna go ahead and head to the desert now. Wow, I, n I never unlocked this. That's funny. But that's... Are we healed actually? Yes, we're all we're all good to go. So I'm gonna stop by the desert. I'm gonna cook those those donuts. Then I'm going to actually let's stop. Did I already fill up the library? Can't remember. books. I don't know if we have any. A moment. Let's save while we're at it. Alright, so we want to go to the the B symbol would rec represent the desert, right? If I remember correctly. Defiant root, is it? Gosh, I can't remember the, uh, what the places are. Yeah, this is it. So where it's Defiant Root. I guess that's the name of the tree that the bees live in, but... It honestly feels like that this should be called the, uh, the, the, like, the desert place. I feel like that that name would stick out more and I would know where I'm going. Because Defiant Root just... I don't know, it sounds a little more uh, generic y, I guess you'd say. See, I figured we had too many, but that's okay. Whoops. The music in this place in particular reminds me of like, um, a rare, like an N64 rare game. Like a flower. Sorry, I'm just like trying to do this quickly. Define root. It defies de the desert and grows anyway. Yeah, that's that's true. I, I I didn't even realize that's why it was called that. To be honest, unless they said it, and I, maybe I just forgot. Um. Whoops. Yeah, we have a ton of money. <laughs> I almost wish like there was like really OP badges that cost a lot that I could just buy, but I haven't ran into them. You know what I just realized? We, this whole game, we were collecting the, what are they called? I could find them in my menu somewhere. What, what, those little crystals that I, I was told were this game's variation of the star pieces from Paper Mario, but we never ended up using them for anything the whole game. 
Whereas in Paper Mario, the star pieces are like very, uh... Like that's important. That's like from the beginning to the end of the game you're using them. Oh, do you have anything new for me? Oh! I have a place to spend my berries, hell yeah. But does that make- is it permanent? Probably. Permanently increase an ally's attack by one! That's amazing! Okay. Yeah, we're buying these. Dude. Okay, sick. Now the question is, who do we give those to, though? Oh, okay, yeah, the crystals are for the secret club. You never did the side quest to get the secret club. I get that, but for an item that's so abundant in the game, it feels weird that they would make it one specific side quest to even utilize them. Like, and then you wouldn't even know which side quest to do, like if you were just playing without a guide or anything. I feel like that's a little odd. Like that, that definitely seems like something that you would just... But I'm assuming that the secret club isn't all that important if it's like that. You know, if the if the way you unlock it is that uh, specific. So I think we're just gonna head towards the to the final chapter now. Save again to be safe. Because there was a secret club in the first Paper Mario, but in fact, I think the second uh, Paper Mar uh, Thousand Year Door had a secret club type thing as well. But it was it was literally just like a way to help earn coins faster and like in a, in a fun way. Like that's all it was. So even though you had to like go a little out of your way to unlock those, all it was was a way to get more coins. Whereas the star pieces are just like. That's a huge part of the game, and it's something that you just naturally stumble into. Alright, so... Which route do we take to get to the... That looks newer. Rubber Prison, there we go, that's where we want to go. It's actually a pretty big deal, lots of stuff down there to do, way more than what Paper Mario does. Oh, here we go. That's cool, um... It's, it, it is unfortunate we didn't find it by chance, but uh... It's okay. Our, our main goal here is to complete the final... Complete the game, the, the, the main story. And now we are on our way. Oh look! Music CD. Soda can. Wait. Oh. Goddess Venus, what's the matter? Listen, this is very important. I've been keeping track of your travels through my buds, but this is my limit. I can't help you past here. You'll be on your own. We can feel some strong bloodlust coming from the area ahead. Yes, this is where the dead lands start. Disgusting, heinous creatures roam that area where giants lived. They're stronger than anything you will find in Bulgaria. I can't fathom why they've never tried crossing over. The roaches brave such horrors just to hide the everlasting sapling? Makes sense, right? It's the ultimate challenge. This isn't a game, I'm serious. We're serious too, this ain't just about treasure anymore. The Wasp King seems determined to go on ahead beyond reason. Even though it's dangerous, we can't risk him succeeding in his quest. Yeah, we can't let him roam around, for everyone's sake. Oh, please be careful. I've grown so fond of you all. If you need any healing, just ask me. I really won't be able to help later. Thanks. Alright, team. We're going after that jerk. Um... You've sort of handicapped yourself the entire playthrough by ignoring all the side quests. Well, I've done, um, a number of side quests. It's just, it's hard to tell which ones are, are, are more, you know, important than other ones. So I can't really... I don't know. Like, 
obviously if I was playing more in my own time and I was just kind of casually doing more side stuff, I would maybe spend more time on that. But I, I wouldn't want to just like go through a whole list of side quests by, you know, for the chance that I might run into something significant. Sauron's eye? What the hell? Okay. We don't want to get seen by that. I'm sure if we're underground, it'll still see us, I'm guessing. Oh, maybe not, because we can only dig right here, actually. Alright, so we're going to have to be quick. Whoops. Whoops! I didn't realize that was a hole. Um. Alright. Oh, okay. There's a path down there. Oh, Kate Travis touched down. Is it cause... Is it cause they said this isn't a game? Oh, right. Leaf can carry us now. Sorry, not Leaf. Uh, V. Oh, no. That... That... Didn't look like it... That didn't look like it... It touched us. Huh. Sorry, uh... Okay, I guess we will... Let us swap plate positions. So we spy on this. Dead lander. Is that beta? I, I don't know the. Um. Oh, sensing the bloodlust. Is that gamma? I know that's either. That's not alpha. It's either beta, beta or, or gamma, I think. Because I think alpha is just a letter A, ain't it? So maybe that's Gamma. Beta probably is a letter B. I don't have that memorized. I don't know what's scarier, this or the thing that dropped it. Maybe we should flee. The claw's super scary, but the spores are trouble too. We gotta be careful. Wow, that has a lot of health. That's like a freaking mini boss. Holy crap. And it didn't freeze. Oh boy. I'm gonna give Leaf another chance to freeze that thing, because that's... I doubt we want to get touched by it, if we can help it. Oh, nope. I hope nope. I hope nope. Flipping the enemy, except it's not going to flip the enemy, is it? Because usually it doesn't. You can't fool me, game. I know when you say flip the enemy, it doesn't actually mean flip the enemy. I've learned my lesson by now. sleep. Mm. Ah, we'll just keep doing normal attacks. I feel like I'm wasting way too much uh, points on this guy. Flipping the enemy. That one says it too, actually. I never noticed that. Or leaf. If anything, this will probably give us a bunch of uh, XP at least. I just realized it didn't get poisoned by the needle, did it? Because I think I have poison needles on right now. I guess it must be... Oh, I should have used this. It lowers the enemy defenses. You know, it's been a while since I played this, so you'll have to excuse me. And 
and V should be able to finish them off. Ooh, hell yeah! They increased the amount of points we got. Sick. Unfortunately, we did level up recently, so... Well. Hopefully this is a good spot. Ah, oh, seriously? Wow, I actually managed to avoid it though. Hell yeah. I was thinking like if it if they drop on you like you have to fight them, but Oh my god, what the hell is that? What 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 touched me? Oh, it must have been behind the wall there. Let's see, what is this thing? The lender alpha? Heck is that? Is that even a bug? Deadlanders creep me out. Got all sorts of sort of poisons and it can dig. Leaf, be ready to bring it out. Yeah, that doesn't really look like a bug, does it? What what am I looking at here? Maybe we could freeze this one. The other one we didn't have much luck. Oh, you're gonna dig underground, huh? How about no? Oh, you know what? We should do the de the defense drop first of all. This is such a good move. I just need to remember <laughs> that I have it now. Ah. It has such a delayed attack, I gotta remember. Why, thank you. Ew. Don't shoot gunk at me, that's nasty. Do not appreciate. They do give us decent XP, so that's good. I don't like that he was behind this wall, though. Oh, now what do we need this block for to get up to the top left? I'm sorry, the top right, probably. Oi, 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 oi. What? It grabbed it. That's creepy. God, that reminds me of something, but I can't- I can't think of what. Oh, we were using it to distract it. Okay, well that kind of worked out. I was thinking we were gonna need to, need to get the rock over here. I wonder what that's supposed to be. It has one eye, it has like claws, it, it, you would almost think it's like a bird or something, but I don't know any- I don't have any birds off the top of my head that only has have one eye. Stack of coins. I'm gonna have to like... Wait, 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 wait. I think I'm gonna need to like get on that rock and then fly across. I think. No, I can't get on that rock. Can I get on this penny? No. Huh. Okay. I'm actually not sure what we're supposed to be doing here then. This thing. Oh, wait, wait. Here we go. So, this is... Okay. 
What I thought we were gonna have to do in the other room, it looks like we're gonna have to do it here. Maybe it's just some giant, horrible, mutated amalgamation bug like the rest of these things. Maybe. I wonder if it sees the ice though, is it gonna grab it? Just ice, right? Maybe I shouldn't risk it. Oh, no, no. It doesn't care about ice. Good. Well, that's good. It means I can... Uh, take my time here. Like, we're gonna have to use V... Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Yep, yeah, there we go. Oof. I think we're gonna make it. Oh, God, another one. The way they just appear like that is so unsettling. Rivals. I thought it saw me for a second. I heard, like, a noise. Oh. How far is that? I need to see how far it goes. Okay, Jesus. Mmm. There we go. Ah! Oh, make that jump. There we go. Now, what is that controlling? Oh, I can kind of see it, but. Okay, there we go. Don't look at me, please. Oh, it keeps going. Oh, that's not good. Go back. Go back. No, 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 go the other way. There you go. A little more. It's a little construction toy. Oh yeah, no, I know. I was just trying to like get an idea of where it was going. Oh no, are we gonna head back for some reason? Why is there a red bumper there? I don't like that. Oh lord. An eye that emits light Seems horribly inefficient from a biological perspective. I do wonder what, uh... Huh. That ice m must have been for something else, which I didn't need. Maybe we have to go back and we have to use the ice. But then I'll just use the red bumper, so... Hmm, I don't know. What the... Oh, you guys just got through it like nothing? This place is absolutely dreadful. I've sung and worn down pubs fancier than this. Those Deadlanders aren't anything to mess with either. I pray we won't run into too many of them climbing this behemoth. It seems to be a machine, but giants handled power at such a large scale. And it's a bit chilly near it. Oh, it's a fridge. It reminds us of, of the Lost Sands Castle. Well, whatever. It can be as tall and as cold as it wants. We're gonna climb it. Such a simple mind, Momo. Let's go in then. Wait. What is it? Everyone, we've been surrounded. By what? Oh, by those. Keep what the heck when? We should fall back. I don't see how that would help. There's no way out. They've completely pincered us. Everyone, there's no choice. We fight as one. Well spoken, my knight. I shall assist thee as well. Alright, let's do this. We haven't tattled on that middle one yet. Maybe not the best time to do it, but... Girl, what's the slimy stuff it's spitting? Gross. Oh, it has way less health than the other three. The other two. 
No matter how much I hit it, it's not coming down. Guess it's up to me. Oh. That sucks. Alright, do we have any, like, super omega attacks? Um. Royal Decree. Yeah, screw it, why not? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, screw it. <laughs> Try to ice fall these suckers. Ah, uh, they, they just don't freeze, do, do they? He should have attacked the middle one, but I, I guess I should be happy he's helping us at all. Ow. Ah! His Kamehameha had poison at us. That's not cool. Oh, well. Oh, I didn't die from the poison. Alright, um, let's think about what we want to do here. Right, so if you can't die from poison... Hmm. I guess first we should pop you out of the ground. How many items it might... Well, this is probably could be useful. So we'll throw another rock. You know, I guess I should have been focus focusing on the first guy just because our little buddy there likes to specifically hit the first guy. Right now, two of us are poisoned. That's not good. And V's asleep and poisoned. Ouch. Okay. Well... Let's see. Rock is for... Ice Falls 4, so we have enough to do those two. Um, and then that guy will probably finish off the guy on the left, I think, so yeah, I guess we'll do that. Really? Two TP? Oh, I hope for health. Perfect. Poor V. Some more TP. Then we can pep talk V. Oh yeah, we should we should do your uh, heavy throw definitely. Oh god, I wasn't. Damn it! I forgot that you had to do that at the end, and I was just like zoned out, kind of. Ouch! So that's what happens if you miss that. I guess that move is so powerful that the risk of how, of take deal, da dealing damage to yourself is kind of reasonable because it's a really good move. But oof, if you miss that. some more TP. V 
yeah, you know what? We're just gonna... We're just gonna, like, hit this guy with a bunch of stuff. Oh, you know what? With our buddy over there, I think... We might just finish this guy off here. You know what I just realized? I didn't give those permanent upgrades to anyone yet. I have a permanent upgrade for attack and def- Wow, 50 XP, hell yeah. Sweet. So I need to give those to, uh, to some members. I need to figure out which members to give them to, to though, I'm not sure. Good thing the others stayed back, that was close. Not at all, phew. Everyone, you did splendidly, the coast is clear. Well duh, you are with us. Let's press forward, we need to find a way to get the others to come over. We were fortunate to have help. The Deadlanders must be showing the Wasp King down as well. Slowing the Wasp King down. Let's catch up. See, in, in Paper Mario, this is where we would have like a healing spot at this point, but... This game is very stingy with the healing spots. They, they want you to use items more, I guess, but... I have so much money, like... A healing spot that costs money would be perfect right now. Oh. Hello. Zasp, comb my fluff. I must look dashing when we take down that tyrant. Are you, uh, nervous? No, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It will, I promise. We will protect you. We... we don't need it, seriously. Eh, we're gonna do it anyways. Say, Zasp, where are the other explorers? They stayed behind. The Deadlanders were too tough for them. Maybe we can open a path for them to come over? Maybe, but this place is something else. For once, I fear for our safety. It's gonna be fine. We've all gotten super strong. Thanks. Oops. Let's press on. Can I let the Wasp King get to the sapling before us? Climbing that thing will be a monumental task, however. Such a massive machine. For us, the legends say the giants were huge, so these machines must have been normal size to them. Handling such great power, how could they have vanished? They moved. Oh, hey, Davidson. My home will be, home will be empty now, just me and the walls. Why is that? Even though it's super old, that machine's still working. The giants made pretty sturdy stuff. Ma, 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 ma. When's this thing gonna turn into a big, beautiful uh, butterfly? All right, so everyone, who do you think I should give the permanent attack boost and defense boost to? It's unfortunate that there's only two and there's three party members. They're really making us decide here. Kaboo does tend to be in the front, so maybe he could benefit from extra defense? At the same time... But who who would I want more attack? I feel like V... If we gave V more attack, and then used V's boomerang, that could be really sick. Because V's the one that has an attack that hits multiple times. No one else has an attack that hits multiple times like that, I don't think. Give the defense boost to V. Um... In a post-game side quest. Duskus agrees that attack for V would be good. Uh, I think, yeah, I think we're gonna do attack for V. I'm just not sure what to do with the defense. I hate that I have 21 of those crystals and we never got to use any. I know you guys explained what it was for, but still. Um, oh, hey, Joe. 
Dang. Wait, why are you inside of Davidson's walls? That's a little sketchy, Joe. Alright, alright, alright. But who should I give the defense to? I feel like it, it depends on who's going to be in the front the most. I could give defense to V as well, because if, if I'm giving attack to V, maybe I'm going to want V in the front more, so that, like, her attack can really wreck, ca cause, wreak havoc. But would that be messed up if I just buffed V only? <laughs> I gave all the buffs to V. Exotic berry burns the mouth and pumps the muscles. Alright, so attack for V. <sighs> defense. I feel like any of them could really benefit from the defense, honestly. Um... You know what? Kabu is the only one who can revive allies. So I think it's most important that he stays not knocked out. Like if I don't have any revive items, which I don't think I really have many right now, that's gonna be my reasoning for that. I have one re revive. Yeah, so I probably should have got more of those, but that, that's gonna be my reasoning there. And then we're gonna save. All right. No, going back. All right, moving forward. We're in the fridge. The other game that comes to mind when I think of going going inside of a fridge or freezer is uh, uh, Sarge's Heroes. It's that I don't know if anyone else has ever played that. You you play as like army men. Oh, that stays frozen now, doesn't it? Okay, I needed that to be a little higher. Can I break it? There we go, sweet. So we want that to be at max height. Oh, that might not be max height. It's okay. As long as it's high enough. I think I fell off a little there. Oh, this one actually unfroze. Oh no! Now it's lower than it was before. There we go. Now let's not fall off this one this time. There we go. I think the password to get to the ice level in Sarge's Heroes was actually like freezer burn or something. It feels like there's a way to like get. Oh, there's water dripping here. There we go. Ah, we can't knock it out of this, this ice part. Okay. But then where would we go? Oh! Interesting. Why did that? Oh, that again. I think I fell. Oh wait, we can go over here. And from here, I guess we go over here. 
Oh, we're trying to get to that up there. I see. So we could probably knock this. Oh, wait, can't we? Ah, seems like this would be something we'd want to move. But if we can fly to here... Yeah, we we might be able to just barely fly from here to here. Then that means we could potentially... Wait a minute. Why don't we... Why wouldn't we just... Okay, so you can't get up there from there. I see. Now, can we make this? Yes. It's barely. And then from here to here. Here to here. Oh, there's that... Those icicles up there, though. So I need to fly, like, around those. Like, I didn't even realize that those were going to be a thing. Okay. Looks like we want to go behind, maybe. Ah. Uh, hey, Jake, this is very similar to Paper Mario. You could say this is a spiritual successor to the, paper, the original, the classic Paper Mario series. Oh, we want to go like around, around it. I see now. I see. Now I wonder if we can, if we move an ice cube in the way, if it'll stop. Or the ice cube. Let's see. There we go. That's all we needed to do. He has a quite a flight range, by the way. Paracarry does not carry you that far in, in a OG Paper Mario. It makes for more. Uh... The platforming is a little more dynamic because of that. You can't even fly around. You can only fly in a straight path in the Paper, in Paper Mario, too. On top of that. I don't know yet where we are trying to go in this room.
Get up there. Ah. Dang, I guess we'll just fight these guys. Bring it around town, huh? I guess ice wouldn't work particularly well against these guys if I had to take a guess. At all enemies. Oh, right, you get a pick. I just want to get rid of these guys, to be honest. Now, would freezing do anything against these guys? That's the question. I would hope so, but I don't know. Maybe it would be safer... Oh, that's true, the battle music didn't even trigger. That's a good point. Wow, V is so freaking strong now, it's ridiculous. What have we done? We've made her too powerful. One XP! Oh, I can't even get my rewards. I'm trying to figure out how we would get... Oh, there's another block over here. Okay, but they're both just as tall as each other, ain't they? Oh, no, no, this one's actually shorter. Okay. Well, then that's simple enough. We just have to, uh... Nope. No, no, no. Kind of cheese there. Tire. There we go. And then we get on this one. And then I guess we do. We want to just. Okay, we can't reach that from here. Oh. Hello, Mizmo. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really sorry. Like, game flies like usually never this late. I honestly think the game might have gone lost in the mail. They, they sent an extra copy out uh, yesterday, so I'm hoping it comes tomorrow and then we can finally start on it. Where the heck are we? How the heck do you guys just get through there? No problem. This is a village. Resident Evil. Halt or be impaled. That's nice. Oh, it's the roaches. They exist. Roaches. No way. So some didn't vanish after all. I thought the roaches were extinct. Is that the elder? Hm. You did halt. You may be just or simply cowards. Please allow us to explain the situation. We're short on time. Blah, there's nothing to explain. Everyone's after the sapling today. The sapling? It is real then? Silence, you've spoken too much. Sorry, Elder. You come with that crook? No, please, in the name of my people, allow me to explain. I see. To think that after uneventful generations guarding the sapling, so many would come 
for it just in one day. That wasp king you're talking about snuck past us while we dealt with his troops. He used them like pawns, not caring about their lives at all. Disgusting, how can he treat his loyal followers like that? Huh? You do have a heart. Please allow us to go after him. And what will you do when you get the sapling from him? Just what are you planning to do with our sacred treasure? Uh... I... I had a dream to use its power to fulfill my wishes. But the lust for that power has only brought turmoil to Bulgaria. I will destroy it. Oh. But what about your mother? She entrusted her dream to me and I fulfilled it. The land teamed with explorers searching for the ultimate treasure. She would be proud of me. She deserves to rest. How dare you spin your words as noble. The sapling is sacred. Elder, if they destroy it, what will be of us? Our life's purpose. That crook may be mad, but he wouldn't desecrate our treasure like you. Oh great, now they hate us even more. You heard the Elder. She never changes her mind. You won't pass. We'll just have to knock. No, V, this is not the way to solve this. They are blinded by their devotion. Understandable. Elizant, our queen. We will support you. We must plead our case once more. I guess the others and I will make ourselves cozy for now. Man, they freaking scorpions in there? Is that the sapling? Looks kind of like it, don't it? Soon there are roaches living in other lands. Wherever they are, what purpose did they find without the sapling? Nope, they, they don't. They're all dead. They've all gone extinct. Urk, what strength that king held. What a monster. Cockroaches never die, true. Magic RPG teleportation service helping NPCs everywhere, I know. Scorpions are dangerous, please. Compared to the Deadlanders, they're the tamest of the tame. That's a freaking buff roach, what the heck? Why do they all look the same? And then, then there's this guy over here. That's where all the rations have been going. You're lucky I didn't have to let you out, let out my prized scorpion after you. That's a little rude. Oh, we can sleep here. You blue guy, I can feel you swimming in roach magic. Where did you get that? Oh, I guess we can't sleep in here, I'm, I'm wrong. I've been bamboozled. How did you get here? I shouldn't be complaining, but it's just funny. Well, we want more of these resurrection. I'm glad that they gave us a chance for that. So nervous now. I'm just gonna get a bunch of these. Case. Here we can see. Hard to trust outsiders, but do you need to rest? Just hoping you don't snore. Hey, they didn't charge us this time. Boom, ba da boom, ba boom. Wow, that fire magic, it's something else. Blah. What a dumb delay. I'm ready to fight alongside Maki. My word is final, we won't let you through. Please, you must listen. Team Snake Mouth, you're here. Perhaps you have some words of persuasion? Yeah, it's called the Beamer. Ow. <laughs> Stop it. A few, if you'll allow us. Please. This is something only V and Kabu knew, but we are not of this time. We served under the first Queen Elizant. What? Is this true, Kabu? Yes, it was not our secret to tell. The roaches- I like the music here. The roaches used to roam Bulgaria even if they secluded themselves a bit. When we were found, we discovered they all disappeared and no one knew why. But it's not just the roaches, many teams have vanished since then. What's your point? What good has a sapling done anybody all these moons? All it's done is plunge explorers into danger, and now that mad king's gone crazy for power. Even our late queen was tempted by the promise of eternal life. The saplings only hurt others by existing, even you. You live trapped in this forsaken place, guarding an ancient temptation. Leaf, thank you for using your words. Or, sorry, for your words. Won't you reconsider, Elder? 
When I was born, my mother said the sapling is the key to everything. Good, evil, it all comes from this sapling. It is sacred. So sacred that we endure to protect it. And so we have for so long. But you're right, aren't you? What good has it done us? Every time a child strays too far, never to be seen again. It's the sapling's fault. Sacred my husk. Then you'll reconsider? Wait. Elder, are you sure? What will become of us? We will find a new purpose. One that doesn't doom us to live on the edge of violence. One that lets us enjoy the plains of legends again. Elder, thank you. You're... Excuse me, you're welcome in our kingdom to explore that possibility. I can't believe it. We'll let you pass to the sapling plains. Go destroy that sapling. Our new future depends on it. We could have done it sooner. Let's run. V really doesn't get politics, does she? That's why she's our V. Let's finish this. Let me guess. When we go to destroy it, a certain mad king is going to show up. Lift should carry back to the ancient entrance. Oh, we don't want to go there. Okay, I guess we're- oh, we gotta go towards the sapling. So, I don't know what this is. Maybe it's a statue of what the sapling looks like. Is that guy on fire? Okay. Several years of zeal tree like conviction and then some leafy boy says a few words and you're all like, yeah, sounds reasonable. Th that, they, we did convince them a little easily, didn't we? Oh, that's okay. Whatever works. Are you alright? The monster, he put the place on fire and rushed through the flames. Oh my god. Through the flames? That's... even our bubble shield couldn't pull that off. Yeah, the sapling. Save your strength, everything's fine now. I don't know how we're gonna catch up. You just had to say that, didn't you? Everyone, protect this roach. I was just waiting for you to say it. Alright, well these are fire-based, so I think they will be weak against ice, if I had to guess. Either that or it won't be effective at all. I guess we'll find out in a second. Yeah, uh, yeah, it seemed okay. I wish it would have frozen, though. Um... Dash... Wait a minute, frozen drill. Screw it, let's go for this one. Oh, it can only hurt one person, though. Generally. Alright, we'll just do this, then. What will we do? We will do Nito Toss, why not? Whoops! I completely missed that shot. That was embarrassing. Oh, I forgot we had this guy on our team. I gotta consider that. I didn't consider that possibility. Pokemon logic would state that ice is weak to fire. Whoops, I wasn't holding down. I'm a fool, but also I shouldn't have been attacking that guy anyways, because the other dude's just going to finish him off. Like that. I feel like that would be a situation where ice is weak against fire, but fire should technically also be weak against ice. Because if you put fire and ice together, the ice is going to melt, but then turn into water, which will then take the fire out, right? Doesn't that make sense? Incredible, you took out the constructs so fast. They were like those in the sandcastle. They're usually harmless, but that monster's appearance riled them up. As if that wall of flames wasn't enough trouble. We'll have to find a way to cross or shut them off. Can I go back and sleep and get my health back? What? More? What did we even do to them? Team Snake Mouth, my queen, leave these to Kina and I, trying to hog all the glory, eh? 
Stop being annoying. We need you to turn off that fire. Kimathiva Snake Mouth, I will remain to assist Maki in defending the village. A queen will do that for us? Are you sure we could stay as well? Time is of the essence. I need your teams to quell those flames. Make haste, Bagheera is counting on you. We'll be, be we'll be back before you know it. it. Does make sense most of the time. Grass being weak against fire. Yeah, that makes sense. Especially if it's dry grass. Try not to slow us down. Ho ho ho. Ho 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 ho. Did it just run away? I don't know, maybe it's just confused. Maybe it's brain just hurdy. Oh, I bet you I could break these. If I have enough speed. There we go. Break that one. Oh, I didn't quite reach there. Nothing happened. There must be something else we missed. Let's look around. Was something supposed to happen? I was just making my way through. Um... For everybody knows your name. I wanna be where everybody knows my name. Da -da 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 -da. Don't we have immunity to fire? Like, didn't we get a special item just for that? Oh, I didn't even realize we're in a kitchen and this is a stove. Okay, see, I, I, usually the reds bounce you back to where you came from. So I didn't want to mess around. Or I, I wasn't going to bother jumping on it at first. We're literally just turning a stove top off, that's funny. Didn't it work? The fire spewing out. Now we should be able to come over here. I wanna go where everybody knows my name. Dooby dooby doo doo. Dooby dooby doo. I wanna go where I can float up in the air. Guessing this is gonna take us somewhere. Wow. We're in the attic now, apparently. I can't see the logic behind fighting types being weak against flying types. Yeah. Shouldn't it be ground is weak against flying? I feel like that's the opposite though. I, I feel like I remember playing Pokemon Stadium and if you use like a ground attack on a flying Pokemon, it like wrecks them. Oh, we're in a cabinet. That makes sense. I wish there was just an easier way to just take care of all the enemies just because they're kind of a pain to fight sometimes, but... Damn it, I meant to do the swap. This always happens to me. I gave two moves to the person in the back, which... Ugh. I'm, I'm an idiot. Okay, whatever. And I took a move away from the strongest person. And if you try to give the moves back, it just... Every... Every, uh... Relay, they're gonna get weaker and weaker. So whatever, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna eat my losses here. Do this right this time. Every time I see those two circles, my brain is thinking of the character swapping places, right? Like, doesn't that instinctively make you think that? Maybe I'm the crazy one. Oh, 
Uh, ground is not weak against flying. However, I think a lot of ground moves can't hit flying Pokemons, right? Rock destroys flying. Kill two birds with one stone. Now who's- I want to know who's throwing rocks at birds. That's very mean. Ooh, we might be able to finish two of these guys off. Let's see if I can pull this off. So first we want to dash through. Oh, I thought that was going to do more damage, actually. Because then, with the Needle Toss... Oh, damn it, that guy's in the way. Ah! Okay, that's such a weird... Like, let me rewatch that. The angle in which the thing was pointing, and the way that the thing went... That didn't look right, did it? Oh, damn it, I was, in, I was looking at the replay footage. God damn it! What an annoying attack. Now that guy's fully healed now, isn't he? Jesus. Ugh. Um. But anyway, what I was saying is V's needle throw, like the way that the line was pointing and the way that I threw it, the, the needle went up at a very strange angle. These enemies are so annoying, they're, 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 and they don't even give you any XP, so it's like, fighting them is just a pain in the ass. Um... I guess we've got a pep talk leaf. Now V's probably gonna die. Ah, I missed the guy on the right, of course, and he was the one I wanted to hit because his health was lower. We are just having a mess right now. Quick health we have, besides those. Well, we have a lot of them, screw it, I'm just gonna... What? Wait a minute. Ah, oh. oh, damn it! I thought Leaf survived that. Focus on finishing off one of them. Hey, apparently I screwed that up too. I don't know what's happening right now. I'm just gonna use normal attacks, I guess. I should have put Leaf in the back though, but eh. Hopefully we'll just finish them here. No, you're not gonna do that much damage, are you? We'll just relay it back to Leaf. And maybe Leaf will be able to finish them off. Oh, just enough, sweet. Hey, Metal Mad Lad. What do you say? Okay, well at least we got more XP that time, because like... The last group of those guys we fought, I guess it was the ice ones, we got like one. What is this? That must lead to the sapling. Whenever I see those, uh, those dish sponges, it, it just reminds me of the smell that your hands get after you've washed dishes, which is like the worst. We're gonna clearly need this. Whoops, not that way though. There we go. I don't even know where we're taking this to yet, but goddamn it. 
clearly we're gonna have to take it this way. Oh, we just want to put it on that, that pressure uh, thing over there, don't we? This looks like it's going to be a uh, fairly... There we go. Good. I was worried it might not reach. Hey, there we go. You mean smelling like soap? What? No, it's it's not like soap. When you've, when you've washed dishes with a sponge with your bare hands, and your like your hands smell horrible. I don't know what it's. Maybe there's something is with the soap. Mismo says soap mixed with grease and other unmentionable. That's probably what it is. I don't know, but it's just, it's horrible. It's the worst smell. I, I feel like it's the sponge itself just gets that smell after it's been used to clean stuff, and then it gets all over your hands. Whoops! I didn't realize the floor was all spiky. I'll try to not run into that guy. You know, we have so much money that we're not going to spend. I might as well just like run away from battle if I have to, because instead of having to deal with these guys. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's the nasty sponges is the, uh, the real culprit. Really, you're gonna you're gonna be right in front of the button I need. Of course you are, aren't you? We're gonna have to do a trick shot because I do not want to fight this guy. I didn't even get close. Well, maybe these guys are just weaker. Maybe maybe they won't be a big issue. All right, Leaf, you take care of these guys. I believe in you, Leaf. Regularly change out your sponge, Jay. Um, notice I was two minutes behind. Yeah, that happens sometimes, but it's cool. Make sure it's in a place where it can air out and dry slash drain properly. I guess I'm not exactly a sponge expert. I don't know. Oh, that did very much damage. I should have saved it for Leaf. 2TP is such a weird bonus that the Mystic gives you. Every, every other bonus seems a lot better. Because 2TP is nothing and we paid for the biggest mystic spell too so that's that's a little surprising all right all right and then we're just gonna take you guys out normally dang it i only did two i thought i was gonna do three. Oh well oh okay you just explode Oh my god, they're gonna kill me, aren't they? Okay, thank god I did a better block that time. Jesus Christ, I didn't know that's what the- And they give you one point? What the- Wow. Those guys suck. Piping hot rock never seems to cool down toss and an enemy set on fire. Good lord. Hopefully we're near the end of this so I can, uh... So we can heal. Uh, am I supposed to just fly to this? No. Oh. We could probably fly back here. Oh my god. Don't touch me. Alright. 
bomb. You know what I haven't been using this whole time? Leaf Shield. It's been... Forgot about that. Should have been using that. I guess we just drop down in this hole. Unless this guy won't attack us. He is just kind of standing there. Nope, that's an enemy. Wow. I just realized we went through all of that just to get on the other side of the stove. That's kind of funny. I guess that's the life of a bug, right? We can't leave our comrades behind, we have to turn this flame off somehow. What? What? But we already did that. Oh, there, there's another side. I see. I see. Alright. Oh my god, is that a six? Is that like a six-point stove or whatever you'd call it? I've never seen one with six uh, spots to put pots and pans before. Besting those fierce flames by hitting a switch. Let's go meet up with the others. Yes, you better teleport me back. Oh my, you didn't take as long as I expected you to. Whatever, Queen Elizant, how is the roach? The roach? We sent him home when the flames were dosed. There are many constructs, but we defeated all of them. Nice job. Wasp King's gotta be up ahead for real now. Hearing he cross those flames by himself, I'm still quite shocked. Well, that's his whole element, is fire, so that's actually not that surprising. Muh. Everyone, we must not falter with our combined might, we're Bulgaria's hope. Well spoken, Kaboo, it's time for the final battle. Now, he's got no chance if we're all together. Ismo said, what kind of stove is that? Mine can't shoot out big flame pylons like that. Really? You really gotta you get an upgrade, Mismo. Every stove does that nowadays. Even Mathiva should be able to help out a little. Excuse me? Don't doubt it, we'll pull our weight. Everyone, let's go. Can we heal first? You know, I'm assuming there's gonna be a healing spot to the left. There's nowhere there wouldn't be. Why isn't that a healing spot? Why is it only a save spot? Oh! Well, there he is. Put on the mask. Breaks the barrier. Surely, the, surely they're gonna give us a quick, easy heal before we fight him, right? They wouldn't really make us go all the way back to sleep to heal and then walk back, right? I, I Honestly, I don't know why that save spot wasn't a healing save spot. It seems like... That, that's definitely one of the weird design choices for me, is like the way they utilize the healing spots in this. They're very minimal. Anyway, stop this instant. Your trail of violence ends here. Yeah, our trail of beating you up comes next. You're correct, pitiful ant. Today the fighting ends. For when I consume this sapling, you will have no choice but to squirm in fear and surrender to your queen, to your king. You think you'll rule with fear? That you'll be happy that way? Or that the people will so quickly submit? Why yes, I'm sure. Do you not see my crown? Imagine not having a flamethrower stove. Couldn't be me. No one cared about me until I put it on. Okay, Bane. Through power and magic, I became feared and respected. From weakling to ruler, I had never been happier. You're pathetic. You could never hope to be a true king. You just admitted to be, being a weakling. You will all perish today. Your opinion holds no significance to me. I want to be so sure of that. Ooh, parry this, you crook. Ooh, is Maki going to get wrecked? Enough fire to me. Well, there he goes. Yeah, uh, What? Whoa, we're kinda alright. Could it be? 
Yeah. Oh, I should have finished off Vanessa to think she'd give you that. I should have fixed you back in Tampa. Nobody cares who I was until I put on the <laughs> until I put on the crown. Uh, we hope you're ready for our counterattack, Tyrant. I'm not, because I didn't heal. I've been waiting all day. Everyone, for our comrades, for Bulgaria. I'm going to be mad if our health is, like, dead still. Okay, good. So they did auto-heal us. The game seems very... Also, we're three XP points away from leveling up. We should have just went back and fought something. <laughs> I came so... In such a bad time, but it's okay. Um, let's actually put Kabu in the back, I think. Since we've already beefed up the... Alright, spy on this sucker. Vile Ursiper, who has led the Wasp Kingdom to ruin. Today, Bugkind will be freed from your villainy. 90 health, but he has no defense, so that's good. We must not waste this opportunity the Flame Brooch has given us. Give it your all, everyone. And that means V. So first of all, even though you have no defense, we're going to go ahead and drop your defense even more. Ooh, baby, a triple. That didn't make sense in the context, but it doesn't matter. I feel like our setup actually benefits us more fighting one person at a time than multiple. Ow, ow, ow. It's still very powerful. Um, oh, that's true. If we get more XP during the phase, that would be great. Well, as usual, I have to duck out during the finale. We'll hopefully tomorrow's Spidey stream. Oh, yeah, same here. So uh, have a good one, Mizma. Thank you for dropping in. Oh my god, that was pretty good. I'm starting to wonder if we can freeze any of the people in this place, considering they're all fire-based. It's possible we're not going to be able to. I think I'm going to save the uh, TP points for V and... Possibly leaf. At least for now. Ow. The fire going away hurt us. Oh my god, I keep forgetting and then like the last second I'm not ready. It's okay. It's okay. Um Let's do a normal attack. You know what? Let's let's turn relay to V and actually heal a little. Yeah. Oh, you know what I realized? Some people have like um do nothing effects. So, yeah, if, if V does nothing, we get some TP back. If Leaf does not oh, nothing, but Kaboo will get some health back. I need to remember that. I completely forgot. It's been a while since I played this, and I've been, like, writing scripts for a bunch of different reviews all at the same time, and then my brain is all scattered right now. Um, defense is already down, so I'm going to this one. Gotta be cool. Relax. I just can't handle this. Are you ready? Crazy little thing called a burn, burn, burn. Burn, burn, burn. Oh, I keep looking at the chat and I'm not. I'm sorry. I have a bad time concentrating. Um.
There we go, I was ready that time. Gotta be cool. Be like, I guess can believe I did it. Crazy little thing called love. again oh we never used the abomination and we never used this there's a lot of things we never used we never try putting them to sleep attack two people at once? That's cheating. Thank God I had just enough for a pep talk. Now the question is... Yeah, I think it's better if I can... Oh, I don't like... Oh, I have Magic Seed. Okay, good. I did get a bunch of those, thankfully. Man, if I could just freeze this guy, I don't think... Try to put... Let's see if we, we can put this guy to sleep. Let's give it a shot. Oh, I thought he was about to fall asleep, but he just bowed down to pull that out. Little jerk. Stop it! Stop it! Cease! Cease your incessant ceaselessness. Alright, we need more TP. That's... And then V, do your thing. Thank you. And then leaf. I don't think a flame rock would do very well against this dude. That's kind of his whole thing. I could just keep hitting him at this point. I was kind of hoping to waste an attack on V anyways, because V was pretty close to dying. Oh god, I didn't want that to happen, though. Okay. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Pep talk, leave. And then leaf is going to... An item to provide feet. It does more health. Then the Jesus, we are almost out of these crispy donuts already. That's not good. If this is just the first phase and we're using up all our items, I'm hoping we'll be able to get more items before the next phase. Ooh. I should have moved some metals around, to be honest. This would give us a ton of TP, but it hurts everyone, and I don't know how much it hurts them.
Oh, damn it! Killed V. I didn't want that to happen. That's no good. I don't want that. Do the heavy heavy throw, which is what we really want. So yo, hey bread universe. New paper Mario games looking good. Got them really really far down too, so I'm trying to think of what would be the best thing here. We want to be careful, we don't want to die. We don't get to use get items before the other uh, next phase, then we might be screwed. But we're gonna live for the here and now. There goes Kaboo. Who else are you hitting? Leaf. Oh god. Wait. Oh, now we're on fire and crap. Okay. So, we have one last magic seed. We'll give that to Kaboo. And then Ka Kaboo. I'm wondering if... use a clear bomb to clear all status effects and we won't take fire damage but I feel like he's just gonna kill us anyways but if the fire damage kills us and then he attacks I don't remember how the order works does anyone remember how the order works on that I wish I know how much damage the leg logs long leg logs the long leg summoner does but I can't fall and then I could also just attack with hurricane and see how much damage that does. It's 13. Let's see how much damage this does. He has 13. He has six now. He has six now. So if we could just deal six more damage. So if we relay this to V. And then. Now it's going to be weaker because it's going to be weaker because we're relaying a turn and we've already we've already attacked one time but Fly drop says it does huge piercing damage. Ugh. Okay, so he had 13 health and now he has six, so that did seven damage. So if I do that attack again,
thinking which one will do more damage here. Screw it, I'm gonna try Fly Drop. Cause that's Kabu and V together, so maybe there'll be less of a... I don't even know how to do this though. Press the bunch shown to carry Kabu, then press the button shown. God damn it, this is risking everything. On a move, I don't even know if I know how to do, but whatever. Oh, repeatedly press the button shown. Yes! Okay, that's enough damage, thank freaking god. Oh my god. And they better give me XP for that. Give it up, you're outmatched. Not that tough without that fire. What are you guys talking about? That we barely beat that. I didn't come this far to lose to plebeians like you. Well. Dina Nam the uh Really? No one else is gonna stop him? Wasn't there like five other people with us right now? What are they doing? Just sitting around. It's the sapling. Impossible. It's it's wilted. Oh, it is. After all this, it wasn't that everlasting, huh? Not an everlasting gobstopper. I reject this outcome and replace it with your own reality. I refuse to accept it. Yeah, I figured you were gonna eat whatever that is, but the last leaf. I would have assumed that that was just normal. Gross. Stop being pathetic, you've lost. Come here and atone for your crimes. Why are they assuming that it's not going to work? I would be terrified right now. <laughs> Turning Super Saiyan. No way, that actually worked. Why would you guys assume otherwise? We don't know how this stuff works. Oh, there he is. Yes. Yes. This power will suit me just fine. I will deliver you to your doom. So I'm guessing it was a bit... Right, a wilted leaf has got to have some power, right? We've got to stop him here. He must not grow more powerful. Why would he grow more powerful? Well, duh, we can't just run away now. Together, everyone, let's finish this. Damn it! They didn't give me my XP level up. And I, and I used up all my items. This is not going to go well. get a chance to like move my medals around or anything either. Right, I guess we got a spy on him, the Everlasting King. Sounds like a Dark Souls character. Oh, he has less health though. Everyone, we have never faced power like this. It's overwhelming, but we stand together. It has one defense. Ooh. Let us destroy the artifacts as he summons them. We must press on till the end. All right. Well, first things first. God, I almost forgot again. I keep forgetting. Maybe this version can be frozen? Maybe. We'll give it a shot. If it doesn't work the first time, I'm not going to waste any more on it. Okay. Ow. Rude. Ooh! 
Why did that do so much damage? I'm not going to complain though, that was great. Um... We have like really no... We have Abomination, so if we really need TP we could use that, although I don't know how much damage we're going to deal to ourselves. And we could like use some other things, but... Escort, let's see what this does. We, have, we haven't used it yet. Oh, seven damage. That's not bad. I think that was like a, a thing that like in paper, in paper Mario, it would tell you like exactly how much damage it does. But in this game, it, like you don't know until you've tried it. And there's a lot of stuff to try. Um. Okay. You know what? I might just relay back to V because I still like I feel like V even a little weakened is still going to do much better. EP, okay. I would have liked defense a little more, but uh oh. We just Okay, good timing. I didn't know when, when that was attack was gonna happen, but we happened to take a good time to block. Alright, so let me think here. What would be the best way to just take care of that real quick? Bridget cough. No, I can't use that. I just wanna take care of it. And he's, so I guess Rock does 5 damage from what I remember. So let's just go ahead and do that. Or... Pretty sure that did 5 damage last time, but whatever. Um... I guess I'll just do Ice Ball so I can deal some damage while taking care of it. I hate wasting TP like that, but... There we go. And we want to drop your defense again, don't we? Should have dropped the defense before doing the other stuff, but I wasn't thinking at that point. Oh, damn it! Ah, oh, you sucker, you got all, like, all your health back. I don't like that. You're not allowed to get your health back. I refuse. That sends him flying back into the air there, but I really... ...want him to do that. Um... Back to V. V, do your thing. Yeah. Oh, man. Alright, so let's see. Leaf can attack, or Leaf can... Yeah. I might just use the, the Abomination. Uh, once we run out of TP, because our hells are high enough that I'm hoping that we would withstand whatever happens. With that. Um. Impressive. But with this power, I cannot fail. Stop, don't heal, stop. Really? Oh my god. Damn it. If only. Oh, if I had turn relayed to V one more time, maybe I could have just finished him. I'm, I don't know. That was foolish of me. Gosh darn it. Okay. He does that three times? Oh no. Oh yeah. Damn. Okay, well... Hmm. 
Man, I hope I'm able to beat this by tonight. It's not ready for a heavy throw yet. I... Okay, we'll just hurricane toss. Thought your defense was low though. Why did it do four that first time? I don't, I don't get what was up there. Did he not have his defense lowered anymore? Am I crazy? Damn it, I wasted. I should have used heavy, I guess. All right, well, we're gonna do the abomination, see what happens. I killed V. Wait a minute, that's not a bunch of TP. That was like 10. That wasn't worth it at all. That sucked. I want a refund. And we couldn't even choose to block either. I tried to block. That sucks. I don't have to waste TP just to revive V. Now Leaf's really hurt. That was horrible. Why? Man. See, this is why they need to be more specific with the items and badges. They need to say, we'll deal this damage, but then we'll hit, give you this much TP. They shouldn't just say, does this but gives a bunch of that. Like, that's way too vague. Because now I'm going to have to pep talk V. Man, what a waste. I might have had a chance if not for that. <sighs> and then I, since I kind of move my medals around, V is the only person who has the do nothing to gain TP. But uh, I need V for the TP. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna... You ask too much, Jay. That's it. That's what Paper Mario does. It tells you all that stuff. And that's what this game's based off of, so... To me, that doesn't really seem like much of an issue. It's just... That's literally what the game that this is based off of does. This music reminds me of like Castlevania or something, but I don't know, like I just like I'm screwed. What can I do? Damn it, Leaf, if only you could freeze him. Nope, he's unfreezable. Do we really want to destroy the artifact though? Like what, what good does that really do us? It did like one damage when I blocked it. Like is that, I'd rather the artifact, well I guess it's the artifact and he's gonna fight us at the same time now, but either way I'm screwed. If he, if he has two more rounds of health I'm supposed to get through, this is impossible now. Like I should probably just restart, right? I wonder if, like, when he revives, if it'll, like, get rid of the key, maybe? Probably not.
Um. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I'll just attack you because of this. Erk. Try as many times as you want, you'll never defeat me. He heals again, right? Not again. Can't We can't keep up. He can't keep healing forever. Keep attacking. I can't. We're out of everything. Oh, another key. Great. Well, the other half of the key. Yeah, I should have just got rid of that. I mean, I can't even take them out. There's just too many... Yes. Oh, now you give me an attack boost. Okay. Where the heck have you been this whole time, Mystic? I, p I paid good money for that extra strong... Uh, that extra effective... Turn me a V, I guess. What if I turn me a Leaf? The Leaf's just dead. V. Now I can't even attack them anymore. Duskus, I had to use the items or else I would have lost on the first phase. So I, I don't even know if I could beat this game anymore. I feel like I've, I'm honestly thinking I'm, I just might not bother finishing this because I, I barely beat the first phase using all the items. So I don't know how you would expect me to beat it without wasting the quote unquote wasting the items. I needed them. And now I can't do anything because... If you relay it to someone who's knocked out, I'm guessing that doesn't do anything? I don't know. I'll throw this. One damage. Brilliant. The whole game, like, okay, so the, the, the a huge reason why I love Paper Mario is because you can play through the entire base game without having to grind a single time. Because the whole thing is just, as long as you do the right things to the right people and it's not like this overcomplicated thing, you just, you know, you know, you, it's the stuff you've learned, you know, use the stuff you've learned and time the times, the timing right for blocking and attacking and you can beat it. And then if you want to do the side stuff that's harder, you can do a little more grinding. But that's like a huge reason of why I, Paper Mario is my favorite RPG of all time. This is starting to feel like you needed to have grinded to beat the last boss here, or you need to like have some like more advanced strategic understanding of how like all like these different items and moves work. I know this isn't Paper Mario, I'm just saying that's why I love Paper Mario, and that's why I don't love this game so much, unfortunately. I'm not saying they have to be the same, I'm just explaining my disappointment uh, in that sense. Because none of the other bosses, like, I had to do any grinding for, like, you know, you just had to be, it was like Paper Mario, like, you just had to be careful, it was a little bit harder, but, you know, as long as you did you timed your timings and you did your moves and stuff. But this is just... There's nothing I could do. And you know the sad part? Kaboo's spike shield, which deals damage when you block, does can't kill enemies either, which is weird because moves... Like normally that's something that would kill an enemy. And their tail was never finished. And you're saying I have to reload from the last loadout, right? change loadout and retry. 
Um, but then I would have to do the first phase all over again, and the first phase was already annoying in itself. I, just, I feel like just the balancing in this game is just very, very hit and miss. There's so many little things that are implemented in strange ways, I feel like. I, I love the... Uh, I'm going to try this first before we have to restart the whole from the first phase just to see if there's anything I can do here. Um, so let's see. First off, okay, let's see here. Poison. Ooh, I didn't have the poison needles equipped before. Okay, so poison could be good for this type of boss. Heavy throw we definitely want to keep. Spiky bot isn't like really helping that much in this particular case because it's just mainly one, just one guy with a lot of... Spiky bot is just not as good as it could be. The fact that you can't finish opponents off with it. That's a really odd choice. I don't know why they would choose to do that. Mightier Pebble. We maybe... Probably wouldn't be that helpful either. I feel like we really need to to focus on V. Because V's attacks, like, since we, we gave her the power buff. Preventing enemies from striking first out of battle, that doesn't matter here. Meditation, we don't want that on V, if anything. It only gives us one TP anyway, so it's really not that great still, but... Um... Increase Allies event. We're not going to get poison in this fight. We're not going to get frostbite. Boost an Allies basic attack. Oh, there we go. We're giving that to V. Successful battle. The party, party heals. That doesn't matter right now. This doesn't matter either. Unfortunately, we just don't have many other uh, metals to equip. Um... I guess we could give this to Kabu so that way he can heal and and uh, give some TP whenever he's not doing anything. And I think we're going to focus most of our uh, TP on just be doing attacks. So I don't know. Um... I don't know if there's anything really, if there's a point to equipping anything else. I guess might as well keep Spiky Bot on then at that point. I guess that's it. Crypt Ally starts battle with an extra turn. But their exhaustion ramps up quicker. If we gave that extra turn to Kabu, then Kabu could use that to do nothing and gain TP, so that's all I could really think of on top of that. Um, Alright, I mean... That's all we, we can do, really. And we don't really have any items. The long lead Summoner does 7 damage, so we know that. If, if we could get him down to 7 damage and then use that, would that finish him off? Or would he heal on 0 health? Or would it stop... Would he, would he keep one point of health? Because if we could do that, that, that could be something. Alright, we're going to give it another attempt here. Um. Alright, come on. You. Stick in the back for now. Or sh okay, he will heal no matter what. Okay, that's good to know. God damn it! I m every freaking time. <sighs> oh well. It doesn't matter. Th this first turn is not a big deal, I guess. If uh... sorry, I just get annoyed because I do that so much. Because every time I see that recycling symbol, I I, I I picture the character swapping spots. 
Okay. So, heavy throw. Oh yeah, you know what? We'll do heavy throw. And then we'll poison. We'll poison him. By the way, heavy throw, I'm assuming that that won't stack, right? If we lower his defense more than once. Okay, so you're poisoned now. Oh, he stops taking damage at 10. Okay. And for everyone else, oh, you know what? I should have put the the gain TP badge onto uh, Leaf probably, because Leaf isn't really going to be doing anything here, because we just don't have enough TP to afford it. Yeah, I should have did that instead. Well, we'll just attack then. You know what? I could use Leaf's shield to shield everyone and when I use the uh, abom Abomination, but that'll probably use up a lot of TP. So it'll just... Oh, but if I use the Abomination when he summons the uh, artifacts... I don't know, we'll see when it comes to it, if we even get that far. some really good damage with V now, so that's awesome. And that key's gonna be a little bit of a pain, but... Damn, only there's one damage to that damn key, though. Kind of a waste. Oh, I can't even attack the key when he's behind him anyways, so oh, well. Ow. Poison, everything wore off, so we're gonna have to start hitting you again. I almost feel like Kabu should be in front, just because... Maybe I should put V in the middle, so she's not getting hit as much. I don't know. What the divine know? Not too much. Do nothing, I'll get one TP back. And then, uh... Leaf can... So at least there... So we've done one out of four right there. Ow. I wasn't ready for that attack. like not weak into ice and that's the problem <sighs> I 
I don't know, see, like, I just feel like I'm... We're, we're so low on options because we don't have any items. But nobody warned me, to be fair. You didn't tell me till I already used all my items that you said, oh, I'm screwed because I used all my items. But I mean, but even then, we only beat the guy barely using all the items. So I don't know how I even would have otherwise. I guess I could have got rid of some of these useless items and, and got more health and TP. Yeah, I mean, I, I was thinking to do that, but I don't know if... Bubble Shield costs seven, okay. All right, well, we'll, we'll do that then. I don't think it'll kill the key, but if it does, that'll be great. Maybe it will. I really wish that did more damage. 10! Oh, it does more damage to them. Because we only took like four damage or something last time. Okay, see, I didn't realize how much damage it did to them. That's cool. That helps a lot. I was just too focused on how much we lost. That didn't really give us much TP though, did it? Spy is like Tattle, but it doesn't really tell us much, honestly. It just shows their health and defense, but aside from that, like... Um, I mean, Leaf's just gonna fall, and I don't think there's really much we could do about that. I, I, I have to save my TP for, for V's attacks. And just Kabu's not getting hit at all, which is just ironic because he's the sturdiest of them and he can do nothing to heal. So it's almost like the game's mocking me. So whatever, I'm just going to do this, I guess. Five damage, though. Literally, Kabu has no damage, and he's the one who can heal by doing nothing. It's like they're doing it on purpose. I'll get a one TP. <laughs> it's horrible. It's just there's no way you know that you're gonna have to deal with something this crazy because none of the other bosses are this. He's healing less every time, though, isn't he? Really? Two at once? I should have saved the Obama honey for when there was two of them. Now V's down and I can't... Now I can't do anything again. Yeah, this is just a failing... This is a... Feudal. This is futile. Is there a way to give up? There's no way to give up, is there? God damn it, that's just like... Damn it. Oh, thank you. Is it the first time she showed up this entire fight? And now she's making it so I die slower. Oh, if I keep doing nothing, I'm just gonna keep healing too though, so... I mean, unless, like, I can just keep defending and then throwing boulders when I whenever I have 5 TP, but that'll take forever. So yeah, just should just let them kill me. Whoops. Oh yeah, we'll just do that. Oh, you can't. You didn't select them.
Hey, that did seven damage before. Oh, that was the first form, though. No, wait, no, it wasn't. Or else I wouldn't have had the item still. Who knows? Yeah. Just, just kill me. You know, it, okay, at this point, it would have been better to give V the defense, but we couldn't have known that ahead of time. V should have... Now we know, like, because now we know the type of battle this is, V should have had the attack and defense buff, but now it's too late. So I guess we have to reload the last save. Well, I'll try again. I have about 30 minutes before I have to do Walter. Um... Oh man, I really, really was wishing that the ending of this game was going to kind of like lift my overall feelings for it, but it's kind of done the opposite. And it's not like I don't want like a challenging final boss, it's just... And now I have to go work my way back just to... Like... I don't know. Damn it! God damn it! Well, whatever. We'll just flee. Do the thing. It doesn't matter if we lose money at this point. Well, kind of. We are gonna buy items, but I think we have plenty. All right. So, and what do you have on us? On you. Don't know what dark cherries do. Could toss this to anime. I don't know how much damage that does, though. Um. All right. Well, let's store this abomination. Is just well. No, this could be good though. If we use if we use it with the shield, we can deal ten damage to all enemies. So honestly, that can be good. But that is a. We get 10, we use 10 TP, we get, we use 7 TP, we get 10 back. Yeah, that's worth it. Long Lead Summoner just is a thing that does 7 damage. Clear Bomb we don't need. The Numb Nail Dart isn't worth it. Dry Bread, 3 HP, 3 TP. Um... Uh, the TP aspect of that is tempting, but... Oh my god, we wasted like all these crispy donuts just getting to the... Wait a minute, didn't we have more crispy donuts during that first phase? Am I crazy? Maybe not. We must have used the crispy donuts during getting, like, getting to this point. Flame Rock, I'm sure, isn't gonna help us. It did like one damage. I'm just thinking of all the stuff we just want to get rid of. How much does. Oh, that gives you 8 TP. That's pretty good, actually. Okay, yeah, so screw these other things. Um. This isn't worth nearly as much. This isn't worth nearly as much. Alright, so we have one, two, three, four of these. One, two, of those. So we need more TP, that's really the issue. If we got through the first fight, only refilling our TP off of that, that's really the main issue. We just need to like, tank that guy. We need to tank him, so... We just need a lot of TP. And then maybe one more healing thing. Or should we just keep getting more TP? Let's see. Oh, you know what? We could also fight an enemy and like level up right now too. That could also help. 
We have 11. We have room for, like, four more. And then I'll get one more healing thing. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, first of all, let's go... Let's go level up real quick, because we're so close to leveling up. Alright, we might actually be able to do this without having to, like, grind or whatever. Then you have the agonizing choice of what to level up. TP. Because we don't... More metal points won't, wouldn't do us any good, and more health is just one more health to everyone, so that doesn't really, you know... That just doesn't... It's not gonna be that, that big of a deal. So we're just gonna use up EP killing these guys as fast as we can. Does that much damage with all the, those boosts? That's not. Okay, that's already gonna give us enough, so that's good. I was worried they wouldn't give us enough XP. Yeah, because the thing is, fact, we just don't have. Like, there aren't any other metal changes that would help us. Come on. Okay. This game's starting to test me. <laughs> so yeah, more more TP. Letting you. We did. We need. We need more TP. Did I say something else when we leveled up right there? Oh, they gave us a bonus of two more TP. Sweet. All right, and then we're just gonna go back and sleep. Look, like, why didn't they just make the save spot before the final boss a healing save spot? So I could have just headed towards them right now. It's just like one of those little things. Because most of the bosses in this game, they have a healing save spot right before you fight them. I feel like the healing safe spots just were kind of not thought out maybe as much as they could have been. At least their placement, I mean. Or, or when you start that fight, I guess you're automatically healed, right? But see, you wouldn't know that. Because it's, once again, they when the game decides to heal you, it's very arbitrary. That's part of why I don't like when RPGs just thoughtlessly do the spend your magic points to do cool moves system. At least here it has the excuse of continuing where Paper Mario left off. Don't they all do that? I thought all RPGs had... You had to use magic or whatever to do your strong moves. This place should honestly be cleared out, just so I don't have to freaking avoid them. I know I'm getting really, <laughs> I'm getting really critical right now, but... Gosh darn it, I'm sorry, I'm a little stressed because I just have a lot of work to do. Alright, I was hoping we could skip, but... We're gonna have to watch this again. We're cutting it close. I have about 20 minutes until Walter and I, I, I just, I just have too much I have to do, so I can't continue after that, unfortunately. If you saw my, the video I uploaded, the announcement thing, you'll, you'll know why. Okay. 
Oh no, I didn't rearrange the medals. Oh my god. No. Wait, did I did they get rearranged? Oh No, they didn't. Oh, god. Okay, I just saved, right? I just saved. So I just have to restart the game. I'm sorry. Restart the game. Thank God we saved. It's because we, we had to rearrange the medals once during the fight that my brain was remembering them having been rearranged already. So I got all mixed up there. Boy. Boy, oh, okay. So these are useless. This we want to give to V. This we want to, I think, we want to keep this on Kaboo or do we want to actually give it to Leaf? Hmm. I think we'll give that to you. see how that works. Strong start. We'll give strong start to Leaf so that way we can use it to get more TP. Oh, we need to take off some other stuff. For we don't need to use the pebble. We don't need to use the crazy prepared. Poison needles. That's nice, strong start, I guess. Okay, there we go. Now we have that sorted out. And let's save again, so that way it'll be saved. And now, wait, wait, who do we want out in front? We want B out in front. I don't know if it's actually going to do it based on that, but hopefully. I just realized we, are, we teleported, didn't we? Okay, here we go again. Hey, since we're like, we've reorganized our medals, the first phase might even be easier too, and then we might uh, not use up as much stuff for the next phase. so you can poison him. That does like no damage though. And then you can do nothing. So we can get some TP back. Get one TP back. I swear that should be doing 4 damage. Did I do something wrong? Didn't I equip the... Oh no, please tell me I equipped the right... I equipped the attack boost on the right person. Because if his defense is down... Oh, does it... The way it worked, their defense is down by more for the first turn, and the second turn it's down less, and then it's back to normal? I guess it's just like another one of those things that I'm just not sure about. Maybe that's what it is. Leaf is literally just going to be a, a slow TP generator.
Oh, we never spied on them either, I just realized. I guess we might as well. Not like Kabu's doing much damage anyways. Poor defense. There you are. Aha! That was a good time to get it. Hey, we all have to play our part in the final battle. It's true. But how is Kabu only doing two damage if his defense is down by one and he has zero normal defense? That doesn't seem right. Like, see, like, once again, I'm a little confused about why because if you're in the middle, you, you won't have any buffs or debuffs to your attack. I know Kabu's standard attack does 3 damage, like if, if you do the move correctly. And his he has no defense and he has a defense down, so what the heck's going on exactly? Is yet another one of those things I just don't What? You can't do that, that's cheating. I feel like he's doing like much weaker attacks this time. I don't know why, but hey, that's what he wants to do. That's his choice. That definitely did less damage than it should have done. I'm so confused. I feel like the game is like raising his defense secretly because i just i just made his defense go down i'm using v who has the permanent attack boost plus the badge which boosts her attack plus she's in front and then i use the attack which ignores defense on top of that and the first hit only did two and sometimes it, it, it does four i wish i had an explanation for that there probably is one i just don't know what it is See, now it did three to start that time. Why? Is the shield with the up arrow not a defense boost? Uh, maybe it is, but if it is, I think my debuff thing is countering it. So why did it do my first hit do two last time and it did three this time? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't... Not to mention that this attack is supposed to ignore defense anyways. So even if he had a defense boost... Or maybe it ignores one defense? I don't know. I can't always ignore. I need to go to bed for tomorrow's dentist. Wish your luck and sanity. Thank well thank you, uh Deskus. I hope your dentist goes well. Honestly, I think this is going smoother. I haven't used any items yet at all. So I think we might actually be able to fight the next boss. It feels like he's just like not hitting us as hard though. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting lucky. Um. Da -da -da. Da -da. I'm gonna use an item though, just so we can like tank him faster, cause he's. Well, actually, we heal up during for the second fight, don't we? So if we just keep fighting him without. Wasting items. You know what? Yeah.
God damn you. Using items. Only I am allowed to use items. We all know this. There we go, I did three that first time, even though he apparently just did a defense buff. I just don't know with this game. Couple more of these and then we can break his defense again. Oh no, that's not good. They were actually gonna have to use uh Heavy throw. I'm gonna try to make that the last item I use. Jesus, why are you so. I say that and then that happens. Well, if we could just take him out. Let's see, how much damage am I doing here? Two? Uh, you're gonna do less than that, ain't you? Two? Okay. So we'll just beep. If you want another easy breezy RPG to play after this, might I recommend Shin Megami Tensei 5? Is that a joke? That sounds so complicated just by the title alone. That does four. So if V can survive this turn, don't hit V again, please. I told you, hit anyone but V. This guy's such a jerk. That's okay. We're, we use like three of these on V, but whatever. We have all our TP items for the next part, and that was the important part. Like, honestly, it wasn't even that he was doing that much damage. It was just we needed more TP. Red says, you got this, Jay. Do it for the poorly CGI Rock Scorpion King. You're right. That gives me all the motivation I needed. I, I'm actually thinking we can do this now. The title is just Japanese words. I think it means something like New Goddess Resurrection. It's not particularly complicated, but it's quite punishing. I, I heard Sword talk about it a lot. I don't know if I could do those complicated or punishing like RPGs, honestly. I mean, you see how badly I've been dealing with this. Well, I guess most of this game hasn't been too bad for me, but this probably isn't even that big of a deal to most RPG fans. You're probably used to like dying on the last boss a bunch of times. I I'm not used to that. If he does have the attack boost, it says right there, actually. Look, that's good. Anyway, I actually think we might wreck him this time. It, fe it seemed like we barely beat him last time using up all the items. So I don't know what happened this time that worked out so much better. But I'm glad it did. Doesn't this part remind you of Castlevania? The da na 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 da na 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 there's like a Castlevania game with that melody, I feel like.
And I might as well not do nothing because we have TP items, so I guess I'll just attack. Attack, attack. No! Oh, we still need to tattle on this guy. God damn it. They're really going to make us tattle on him twice. Yeah, the, when the guitar part comes in, that's different. Maybe they're doing like a medley of different... Uh... Different like RPG themes. Or game themes, rather. Well, you know what? I guess might as well use you to start... Ow. Ah, oh, we caught on fire. That's not good. Out of everyone to catch on fire. I guess when the fire happens, I should just try to go for a normal block, not try to risk it and get a perfect block, because, like, the punishment is not good. I swear he's not attacking Kaboo just because Kaboo has the uh, ability to heal. It's messed up, I say. Alright, well look, he's already down to... Uh, His first out of four. And we still have a lot of those TP items left, so I think we might actually be able to do this. I also noticed off his second heal that he seems to heal less every time too, which will be helpful if true. Haha. <laughs> I got zero damage, you got two damage. How does it feel, Tommy? anymore do you the rock would be pretty good right now actually screw it I'm gonna try this oh it was just barely not enough to finish off the key oh well oh maybe that'll make him go up and then I can use Leaf to finish the key off. Oh, didn't make him go up. Oh wait, I can pick anyone on the ground. Cool. Damn it, I don't need an attack boost, it has one health. I swear this game's trolling me sometimes. Aw, oh, dang it. Not V. Look at they are not attacking Kaboo at all. The game knows. now though that's actually a little, little worrying damn it i just didn't realize they were gonna attack v so much oh kaboo has the taunt i forgot about that there's so many freaking things to remember in this game there's too many things gosh darn it
Okay, well, I actually have to go do Walter. I guess I'll come back to this since we are in the middle of the fight. Um... So... Hopefully we'll be able to just wrap this up when I get back.
Alright, okay. Yeah, sorry I didn't set up the playlist. I was trying to be quick. Get back to this. Oh no, we're all on fire. When did that happen? So... Um... Relay to V, then I can... Kill myself. Might as well... More... Frisbee Donut while we're at it. Oh god! I got distracted again! God damn it! I hate those stupid attacks that go on forever. It's ridiculous. Walter, please sit down and be good. Oh, I think Brett Universe was asking how were the streams. He wasn't asking how many there were. I believe. I, I mean, I've, I've enjoyed the game overall. Like, I think it's a really fun game and I love that someone did a, a, a classic Paper Mario-esque game. But there are a lot of little, like, uh, things that are just a little off for me, personally. Even, like, down to, like, the dialogue, like, generally being fun and the characters being pretty cool, but just, it's just not quite on par with something like Paper Mario or, like, Undertale, even, or just some other RPGs where, like, like, Paper Mario or Undertale, you want to talk to every single person you run into because it's it's entertaining and it's interesting. Um, but in this one, it's like, sometimes the characters talk a little too much when it's not really, they're not really saying stuff that's super interesting, if you get what I'm saying. And since you have three permanent party members, they usually are all, like, throwing their two cents in. That sounds kind of mean. Like I like, I like seeing their banter and seeing them interact with each other. But uh, the puzzle in the castle was my bad, though. I forgot that you could use Leaf Shield to walk over spikes because I I took I, one one problem that something that may have been making my problems worse with this game is like I took a lot of breaks in between the chapters. So that's kind of my bad. But maybe he'll be there. Oh, you attacked Abu. Abu's actually pretty hurt right now. Da -da -da. I think it's the first time I'm gonna get to his third. Uh, you know. So when he's down to 10 health, so that means with Leaf, I might as well uh, do something else. He hasn't been summoning the items either, though. So once again, it almost feels like he's just not hitting me as hard as he was last time. All right, taunting with Kaboo. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, right now, we... we uh, I haven't really needed to do that. Walter, could get over here. Ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. I, I'm gonna say that magic seed in case I really need that, so let's not use that. Why, how about we relate back to V? Have V here. Because we need V. 
Berk. Try as many times as you want, you'll never defeat me. 41? The numbers, how random the number is. Now we're gonna use a bomb, honey. Walter, stop. I just heard you do something bad. Walter? Be good boy. And you'll get a, your other half of your treat that you didn't really earn. <laughs> Alright, so now here's where I'm gonna use the Obama honey. So, first we want to bubble shield. Then. This will just do an attack. Obama honey the place to smithereens. Leaf, I mean Kabo actually Kabu should have healed himself a bit probably. Ah, eh, whatever. Yeah. Oh how dare you! We sort of don't want a leaf dead, do we? Like, honestly, like, you could say because the game is mostly going to be nature-based because we're bugs, it is a little harder to remember. We were in a bee factory at one point. That was a pretty memorable chapter. Like a honey-making factory at a bee place. Um, what else? No! I guess it only did one damage to us that time. heavy throw you can see what happens when you already have your defense down I'm actually curious oh it does stack this whole time I didn't know that that's like great it doesn't stack as in like make it even stronger but it like the turn stack the the, the length of the status effect stack which is very good Freaking fertile hater, Walter. I need that. It's getting very chilly lately. Wait a minute, shouldn't you be. Wait a minute, he didn't heal again. Are we on his last health? If, if we are, then, uh, good. Maybe we need to get him below, like, even more down this time. Alright, let's see what we can do. <gasps> oh, that was it! I could have sworn we had one more round of health we had to do. It can't be. 
Oh, well, there we go. I thought we had one more to do. I must have misunderstood uh, Duskus or I just forgot. Because I think he said he does it four times, but uh, I think he did it three. Have we won? You, how dare you? You can't regenerate forever. Yeah, shut up and give up already. I am eternal. So what if you're strong? I am immortal. I am everlasting. I will take everything in this world. I feel like it should have been... Uh, I am... Never mind. Uh, impossible. After such a long fight, you won't concede? It won't end like this. It's over, vermin. This power is gruh? This power is gruh. No. It was meant to be infinite. It only lasted like five minutes. Walter. No, it can't. No, I'm the king. I, I ordered this body to. It's gonna eat you from the inside out, buddy. Oh! Wait a minute, this is just transdermal celebration from Ween. I'm gonna have to post that music video on the Discord now so people know what I'm talking about. You called it, Fak. Are you really whining because I haven't given you your half, other half of the treat? Fine, here. You greedy boy. What a pitiful end. His greed and cruelty led him to this. We got super lucky. Is it over? You really did it, wow. Team Snake Mouth, you've saved us all. I truly thought we were doomed. And now we have a new sapling. So he's like a tree now? Is this also an everlasting sapling? No, there's no magic coming from him. He truly is just a tree, as we said. That's weird. Why'd he transform? The everlasting sapling's power was said to be infinite. Was that a myth as well? There's nothing truly infinite, is there? My beauty? Okay. He was so strong, though. Perhaps he was simply unable to control its power. Maybe it was sealed for the safety of others. Can we think about it later, though? It's still dangerous here and stuff. Wait, V, what should we do with this tree? Perhaps we should strike it down, just in case. Lower your blade, Maki. Your Highness? It froze. Will remain as a symbol of our long struggle of our journey for the sapling. A warning to not seek its power any longer. Can't we put like a cooler statue here or something? Yeah, what, what, what's to stop someone from showing up here looking for the sapling and they think that this is it and then they eat the evil tree? Like a Team Snake Mouth statue. No. Uh, v, you've truly made this journey something else. You too, Kaboo. We wouldn't have it any other way. You're not going to get sappy in this dreadful dumpster, are you? Well, it's kind of emotional for me. Look, the Wasp King is gone and we have technically found the Everlasting Sapling. We should celebrate with the big show. Or at least rest. Ah, well, it does sound good. We've completed our mission after all. But first, let us inform the roaches of what has occurred. Walter, stop licking the dang thing. Elizabeth? Yes, Leaf? Are you truly satisfied with this? Your mother will remain sleeping forever. Everything I said in the village was true. I would not place that wish over my people's needs. But no, I'm not satisfied. It was a sacrifice after all. It was my duty. Thank you. You've grown into a fine queen, and we could say it for sure. Thank you too, Leaf. I can tell you served my mother and I earnestly despite your doubts. Let's go, this is no place for us anymore. Lead the way, our queen. Alright. We're gonna have a big parade. So that's it then, the everlasting sapling is no more. What should we do now, Elder? What are we meant to protect? This is still your home, sapling or not, you can protect it with heart. But if you'd like to visit greener pastures, you're welcome in Bulgaria. All of our kingdoms would have you. Bulgaria, we've only heard the tales our ancestors left us. I fear I've grown too used to this small town and its scorpions. Capitalized. 
I will be okay staying here. Elder. Everyone, you're not bound to this land any longer. You need not fight monsters and forage for food, nor fear sleeping in case of an attack. You're free. Those who wish to go to Bulgaria, don't stay fearing for my sake. After all, you can always visit. Thank you. Thank you, our elder. No offense, but I'm out of here. I can't leave the scorpions, but thanks for offering. I'll miss mine, but I want to see the world. Our queen, you've caused quite a stir. It's because they have adventures now, too. <laughs> Indeed, it makes me want to go beyond Bulgaria as well. Team Snakemouth, we depart. We have a feast to attend to. I trust you won't keep us waiting. Or I'll start the show without you, don't doubt it. I've got quite the report to write, so I'll help you now. We're not missing the food. <laughs> okay. I don't want to miss food. No, Mothiva's is in quite the mood. I'm just glad we survived, all thanks to you. You helped us as well. It was truly a team effort. Let's work together again sometime. Where the climax is happening in the in the roach place. Or the epilogue. Why can't he be nice with, with Mathiva around? I don't know, pride or something? As long as we know his true feelings, it's fine. There's a lot we want to say, but let's go celebrate. Heck yeah, I'm super hungry. Thank you, V. Leaf, for helping me experience the adventure of a lifetime. If my team could see me now, I hope they'd be happy for me. More than that, they'd be proud. But we are your team. Yeah, you're a super explorer now. <laughs> no, just part of an incredible team. Now for our final mission, let's head to the castle. Battling through Rubber Prison in the Deadlands, Team Snakemouth discovered the Roach's village. Resolving to destroy the Everlasting Sapling, they faced the Wasp King with determination. And so after a long journey and many harsh fights, Team Snakemouth and their comrades defeated the Wasp King. Although the Everlasting Sapling's chapter is closed, a new one begins. It's time to celebrate. Gotta have a parade. Queen's gone all out with this celebration, has she not? It's great to see such a joyous mood in town. Eh, all we've got to do is go get our super reward. Oh, so this must be the epilogue. And when we go get our reward, that'll like do the credits. I guess we'll go do that. Look, everybody's here. What the heck? Uncle Ironseed, I was told there was a party for the strongest, but Tangy's not here, and he's the strongest bug I know. Let it go, Kaboo. <laughs> and that was Bug Fables. We laughed, we cried, we got scared, and went to a bee factory. Yeah, that's basically the uh, sequence of events. Oh no, don't tell me. It's starting to feel like... Normally I would talk to everyone, but there's a lot of people. Um, starting to feel like it's going to be one of those games where it, it the last save spot is always going to be before the final boss. Which is weird because Thousand Year Door actually let you play post end game. And this game has so much side stuff, you would think that they would that open, but uh, I guess we'll go in there and see what happens. I don't see any safe spots anywhere. Yeah, it looks like that's what they're doing. Oh, it's the general. Um, let us start anew after the ceremony, yes? Okay. I wanted to talk to him because he was a bad guy. Some game endings are good, but Super Paper Mario's ending, I actually cried. Super Paper Mario does have a pretty good story. And they have fun characters and stuff. Walter, come here. We congregate to celebrate the brave efforts of all the explorers who protected our land. Many of them are here today and I can't thank you enough. But there's so, so much more to be joyful for. The assistance of those who believed in us, the freedom of the wasps of, uh, from their tyrant, the promise of reconciliation with the termites, and the closing of the everlasting saplings chapter. A new future for Bulgaria and the Ant Kingdom. Whoa. Team Snakemouth, even though this is only possible due to the efforts of many, 
None can deny the great part you played in this campaign. Huh, you know it. V, not now. Anyhow, it is my absolute honor and privilege to knight the three of you as royal blades for the service to our kingdom. I f may fame and glory come to you for your brave efforts. Wait, you just made us work for you officially? That's not a reward. That's a job. Everyone, tomorrow we work to become better than we are today. But today we feast. Yeah. Everyone likes that. Yeah, Walter's being a terror. Usually I throw him up on my bed, but I was letting him have some freedom to roam first. All's well that ends well. We did it. We're like super famous now. <laughs> Let us face this feast with pride. Team Snake Mouth, move out. Oh, is that it? So do we really not get to learn about Leafs? Wow. Oh my god, that's Paper Mario. They can't do that. That's Paper Mario music. How did they get away with that? That is literally Paper Mario battle music, I think from Thousand Year Door. Like it's recreated, so I guess it's technically a cover, but I feel like Nin Nintendo could have did something about this if they felt like it. I'm glad they did it. And it's really cool that they did it, but I'm surprised. Look up Paper Mario battle music, Thousand Year Door, I think, and I'm pretty sure this is it. Interesting. You're saying that's the battle theme from this game? Are you sure that's not Paper Mario? Maybe my mind's just roasted right now, guys. Everything's combining in my head. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually- oh, we can speed it up, look. Oh my god! Wow, I actually like that. Most credits don't let you do that. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm surprised that they don't explain Leaf's backstory in the main story. I, I'm assuming that there's a side mission that goes more into his backstory. Because Duskus did want me to do, um some extra thing about Leaf, but we never got around to that. Because we don't know anything about his... You think that that would be considered a... Uh... These must be like... Donators, I'm guessing. JJ, it's me! Jag the Rabbit, Jean-Paul Pierce. I saw a catrice. Moppy, no name. Oh, I should have looked if there was any names I actually recognized. That would have been interesting. Did I say Tom Waits? The musician? Yeah, we are walking through all the lands right now, actually. Moonsprout Games. I didn't know you could grow plants on the moon. I'm gonna look up that song real quick so I like... Sorry, I'm gonna look up the, the Paper Mario battle music to... Oh yeah, that's different. I guess it's in the same vein. Unless it's a different song from Thousand Year Door I'm thinking of. Gotta be careful not to play the opening one, because that one got freaking copyright claimed by people who don't own it. I'm telling you, it sounds just like a Paper Mario song. 
But which one? Not that one. Ah, oh, well, I'll figure it out later. Um, okay. Well, I'm gonna wrap up now because I have a ton of work ahead of me. If you've seen my my uh, announcement video I did, because I'm doing the 12, I almost said the 12 J's of Christmas, the 12 days of J's miss, because I'm insane. And uh, yeah, you guys all have a great night. And a great start to your, your, your week. And I will catch you next time. Peace out. Catch you later. Goodbye. Help. Someone help. Help me edit.